grade 9 welcome to this module now this is going to be a writing section module we are going to discuss on a very important topic that is diary entry diary entry is question number three we need to understand how to write a very good diary entry because we need to score eight marks or close to that and you have to finish off writing a very good diary entry in 100 to 120 words. So how to write a very good diary entry? We must always remember that diary entry is actually a record of any very important or particular happening that we do not want to forget. And this record has to be noted down or written at the end of the day not suddenly whenever you feel like at the end of the day before you wind up before you go off to your sleep that time you can take your pen out and pen down a very good diary entry so we start off with the normal rules of writing a very good diary entry we have to start from the left hand side we write day and date and then just below day and date we put the time of the writing when when we are writing the diary that time is recorded. I'm going to show you in detail, but just I'm introducing you to the format and then we can continue with the flow charting and the picture of a complete detail of the whole thing. So anyway, we are going to write the time. Just below the time, leave, now there should be space in between. Just below the time, we need to understand that we have to write the salutation. So it is either dear diary or hello diary. So either of these two, don't write both, either of these two. And then we move on to the body. The body has to be the content, the content of the diary entry. In this content, we need to understand the language portion. The language has to be very informal, very friendly. And normally we write in past tense because the happening is already over. But supposing if you want to record your future plan also, or you wish to think of something at that moment, then you can uh, write in present and in future tense also. But mostly we write in past tense. So after recording the event, we wind <laughs> off with our name. So we need to write in the uh, diary our name, our first name at the end. At the end, you do not write your surname, do not write it love with love or maybe by diary or something like that. You just sign your name. So the whole thing is going to be shown in front of you right now. I'm, I have drawn the mind map. You are going to see it and we're going to follow it very carefully so that we can write a very good diary entry, right? So here we go. Hello, we are going to start with the writing school section now. The topic diary entry and this is question number three, right? So this is of eight marks and we have to write it in between 100 to 120 words. Please mind the word count. If you write more, your marks will be deducted. So we move on with the flow chart. That is the day, date and time to be written at the top left hand corner of the page. We move on with time. In between day, date and time, you may or you may not leave any space. That is up to you. Time has to be always in PM because we are writing at the end of the day, not whenever we feel like. So time has to be always mentioned in PM. Then we follow it with salutation. After writing the time, it is a must. This one is a must. We need to, let me mention it here. It is a must, M-U-S-T. It is a must. This space is a must because that gives a, Cleanliness that gives a neatness to the diary entry. So leave space in between time and salutation. Dear diary or hello diary. Either of these. Okay, do not write both. This is known as salutation. Do not write both. Write only one. We come to the body of the diary. That is to be divided into short coherent passages. Okay, short coherent paragraphs. Do not just disconnect the passage. Do not just disconnect the paragraph. It has to be together. It has to be linked with each other. Okay. End with a positive note. What do I mean by ending with a positive note? That there should be a happy ending to your diary. Just like that, you do not end the diary. If you are not feeling happy on that day and you are mentioning it throughout in the content portion that I am not feeling happy, then the positive note at the end will be, I wish the next day will not be like this. It will be happier. 
or it will be one of the happiest days. So end it always with a positive note. Whatever bitterness is there, do not end with the bitterness. Do not end on a bitter note. Always it has to be ended on a positive, happy note. You have to sign out with your first name. No other surname and no nothing. Nothing else should be there. Only your first name. So here I have given you a sample. See, day and date is there. I have put it on the left hand corner of the page. Then I have put the time. The time has to be recorded and I have not left any space because I did not feel that I need a space there. So I continued with the time and then I have mentioned Hello Diary. After mentioning Hello Diary, I have left a space. Obviously, we need to. Today, I had the bitter, bitterest experience of my life. I never had such an awful experience before. You know, I had gone to Agra for some important work. There had been very few buses flying today. As most of them had been put on election duty. I waited for two hours at the bus stop to get a bus. Finally, when I got one, it was so crowded that I somehow managed to squeeze myself out to stand and it was really difficult to breathe. Everyone was sweating and pushing each other. I was really relieved when my destination arrived and I got down from the bus. I breathed a sigh. I breathed a sigh. S-I-G-H. Sigh of relief. A breathe of relief. Sigh of relief means I breathed happily. A relief. I was so happy to get down from the bus and patted myself for surviving the journey. I'll never forget this journey in my life. See the note I'll never forget this. And it is not actually a bitter note. It is a kind of note that, yes, I'll never forget this journey. Okay. And see, throughout the language, the language is very informal. We have to maintain a very informal language because in the language portion, in the writing portion, we have to understand the language has to be interesting. Otherwise, you will not be able to score much in diary entry. Interesting language, friendly language has to be used. So this is this. I have signed out with the first name and there are gaps in between for the paragraphs. See, this is the first two line introduction or the introductory paragraph, right? After that, I've left a line and then I moved on and I have made another break here, right? I will never forget. This is the concluding line. So Amit. So this is all for today. Tomorrow, I will be giving you your assignment and a diary entry will be there. So please submit your assignment on time and forward it to me, not to your Neha man, class teacher. Okay, forward it to me on my WhatsApp number and please write a very good diary entry. If you want any other doubts to be cleared, you can come up with your doubts on the group or personally connect me, right? So that is all. Have a nice day. Take care. Stay safe. God bless you.